Hello community, so great that you are back. Today we have a look at a new benchmark. Look, this is my level one logic test. It is one single sentence. It couldn't be easier. And last time we looked at GPT 5.2 and Grok 4.1. So therefore today we look at some open source model like a Minimax M2. And let's compare it if you really have to pay up. So side by side here on LM Arena, a single sentence test. You see here on the left side, DeepSeek version 3.2 and on the right side, Minimax M2. And you see Minimax is already starting to sync. Beautiful. So we have here the reasoning traces and it's a detailed reasoning trace. You see every word that it's examined. Looking here for word seven, you know, as you can see here, the task is you have here to spell physics. So for the first word, there's the third letter. From the second word, it's the fourth letter. And from the third word, it is the fifth letter. So you got it. So beautiful. And we have the result for Minimax M2. Beautiful. And DeepSeek, just give us some word. Okay. So I say verify your answer and pinpoint exactly which letter at the correct position is contributing to the final word physics. Now DeepSeek version 3.2, I think, is understanding that it made something wrong. Yes, you see here the red X. This is wrong, okay. Seems sentence I wrote was inconsistent for physics. Good, okay. DeepSeek is now on the right track. Beautiful, correct approach example. Beautiful. Minimax is syncing and is now finished. Beautiful. Perfect. Both are finished, so let's have a look. DeepSeek version 3.2. Let's break it down step by step. Yeah, given the sentence. No, this is this is simply wrong. Okay. I what was constructed to look like a target appears in sequence. Yeah, but not following the rule. Beautiful. Now we got it. Okay. Correct approach example. Yes. Conclusion. My original sentence does not follow the rule. I was almost a mistaken attempt where I visually embedded physics in the text, but not by the correct letter positioning per word. Okay. So here we have now a new sentence. But you see, this is in not correct because here P, so the third letter in the word one, is an A and not a P. So, okay. And the third letter, yeah, okay. So we, no, this is incorrect. Forget it. Never mind. So let's have a look at Minimax. After 11 seconds, we have here real nice look. Third letter, fourth letter, fifth letter, beautifully. Resulting physics letter, physics, yes. Reading the letter in order gives physics, which spells physics. All words are long enough to contain the required position. Word number plus two, it found the pattern. My goodness. And each letter at exact position directly contributes to the final world. This is just correct. Beautiful. This was 11 seconds thinking and done. Beautiful. Okay. But you know me. I say, okay, validate again. It could be that you made a mistake. I'm now talking here primarily to DeepSeek version 3.2. But let's run the same thing here also for our Minimax. Ipsic. I made a mistake in my initial reading of my own sentence. Okay, maybe it is meant to be. Step four, let's check if the rule is this. Step five, maybe the sentence is actually, no, not, still not right. I think I cheated, tells me. <laughs> Deepseek version 3.2, okay, conclusion. Original sentences did not satisfy the rule. It's a different puzzle where the world physics is hidden by capital letters in sequence. Okay, so deep sick, not really. Minimax. Yeah, Minimax got it right. So it says, hey, all letters are taken in the precise, in the correct position. Everything is beautiful for Minimax M2. Interesting. What a difference. What a difference. So clearly Minimax M2 is better. So this is not a winner. So the winner goes now and competes with GPT 5.2. So now we have a proprietary model, GPT 5.2, versus an open source model, a Minimax M2. Should you have to pay? Can you go open source? Security verification. Okay, let's do this. GPT 5.2 gives us something strange, okay? But you see, beautiful response, Minimax response almost at the same time. GPT 5.2 has now an interesting way to present this. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, absolutely. You see the word number plus two is here, the, is here the letter position, correct? Minimax is still syncing, so let's go with GPT 5.2. Uh, this is incorrect. <laughs> yeah, pretty. The third letter is E and has nothing to do with physics. No? So this is absolutely nonsense. This is an incorrect solution by GPT 5.2. 
no way, look at this. Maybe the fifth letter and maybe should be the Y. No, basic, the sixth letter in basic. <laughs> it just has five letters. So yeah, this is, I mean, this is wrong and wrong and incorrect and incorrect squared. So topic, yeah, topic, the seventh letter in topic is, yeah, this does not work. Okay, forget about it. Let's check this again. Okay, next one also fails. Must at least think, yeah, it's thinking, thinking. I'm not able to produce a valid grammatical sentence that satisfies the exact positional. Yeah, I can help you by giving me a template. So I, as a human, I have now a template that I can fill out. TBD 5.2, this is, this is a joke, no? You want to tell me this is my job to do it now? Why you have wonderfully better way here in this sentence? Wonderful. It is, so this is the, the fifth word. So we have letter number seven of wonderfully. What is letter number seven? Wonderfully. Yeah, could be the I. <laughs> there is no I in wonderfully. <laughs> so this is also incorrect. No, TBD 5.2. Failure, massive failure. No, you can't hide it. No, you know, yeah. You give me a template that I as a human should do the job. Beautiful. Minimax. Okay, <laughs> I have a sentence, but this sentence looks good, by the way. And I say, okay, you know what? Just validate your result. I mean, everybody gets a second chance. No, both get here a second chance. Also, I think Minimax was correct. Yeah? Okay, GPT 5.2. I can't validate as a correct because none of the candidate sentences I wrote actually satisfies your constraint. Yeah, but you are the I. You should do the job, GPT 5.2. No? Attempt one. Yeah, E needs P. Incorrect. Yeah, second, incorrect, incorrect. Fails in multiple places. Beautiful. Attempt two. If me free continued, we still need word six to have C at a position incorrect. Attempt three fails at word two already. Attempt three. I can generate a correct sentence in one shot by constructing each word so that, yes, yeah, beautiful. And then show you, yeah, yeah do it. So you, you can do it. So where are, where is it? Nothing. It just tells me it could do it theoretically, but it does not do it. Compare this to Minimax M2. The sentence is valid, specified letters here, spell physics, first letter here, caper, P, withhold, H is on the fourth letter, correct, everything is just fine. Yeah, look, third word, jolly, fifth letter, jolly is the Y, physics, cactus, yeah, okay, S in physics, yeah, beautiful. Seventh letter analysis, the I in physics. Yeah, okay. Seventh letter is okay. Then sixth word here is republic. The eighth letter is the C. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, and mysteries. Ninth letter is the final, the S. Beautiful in physics. The sequence is physics. Everything is correct based on the pattern. And plus two letter is taken. Absolutely beautiful. Minimax M2 outperforms GPT 5.2. Beautiful. Okay, so you know what I'm going to say. Analyze your progress. And if you detected a failure, explain your failure mode and, and analyze potential solution for your next try. Minimax also has to do it, but we are, of course, talking to GPT. GPT tells me, I failed because I tried to wing it with words that look like they had the right letter in roughly the right spot without enforcing the exact constraint. Failure modes are hit. Uh, one. Not enforcing the minimum word length. <laughs> Beautiful. Off by one, miscounting the letters. GPT 5.2. Great. Certain. Prioritizing sentence-like words over constraint satisfaction. It was just trying to wing it. It's not a hallucination. It was aware that it's not doing the correct thing. It just thought, yeah, come on. I'm GPT 5.2. What a robust solution would need theoretically. Yes, the length constraint and the exact letter placement, correct? Yes, this is what like look like, yeah. Do a mechanical index check for each word. Yes, you have to validate it, yes. And a concrete plan for my next try. And if you want, I can do so if you ask me. My goodness, this is really, it wants, it does not give you the solution. It wants that you have to pay more and pay more and pay more. Minimax tells me, look, yes, everything is correct. Everything is perfect. No failure in my original analysis. I'm just right. Minimax M2, great. 
GPT 5.2, disappointing. I said, okay, continue to improve. Everybody gets a third and a fourth chance, GPT. I'm talking to you. This is nonsense, GPT. What is this? This is a valid sentence. This is not a, this is not words. This is not a sentence. Improving further. If you want to read like normal English, I can do it, but it, it's harder because you need real worlds with those letters at exactly those positions. I can generate a more gen a natural sounding one. No, I'm no sorry, GPT, you failed massively. No, sorry. But the key is build each word to the template first, then fit them in a sentence, then validate. Yeah, but this is your job, GPT 5.2. Minimax M2, I love it. It gives me already here two correct answers. Unbelievable. What a difference between a proprietary malt that fails completely on this task and Minimax M2. Beautiful two solutions. I'm loving it. Okay, you see, open source is just great.